Hi, this is Don Nelson. I'm editor of The Added Report, and I'm at Fabtech 2019. I'm at Fusion 3 booth. I'm with Chip Royce, CEO of the company. We want to talk a little bit about the Fusion 3. What, what distinguishes this machine? Yeah, so this is the Fusion 3 F410. Uh, it's the third generation FDM, the layering technology of plastic, uh, that we've been manufacturing. Uh, the company's founded in 2013. And from our very first days, we've been focused on providing incredibly high performance but affordable 3D printers. Well, one thing we talked about earlier, Chip, was about the, the growth in the types of filaments that are coming on, on, on the market, both metal and plastic. What, what, what's driving that? Exactly, so it's really funny. This is a relatively mature technology. So you're only going to be able to melt plastic so quickly. Um, we can certainly do things, and we are striving in Fusion 3 to make the process as bulletproof and reliable as possible. But at the end of the day, we think that most of the growth of this technology is going to come from the materials. Um, I used to be in the, the PC industry before I got into 3D printing about six years ago. And when I saw this industry, I was amazed, because I saw basically the materials sort of like the software is to a computer. So case in point, um, the industry's really embraced adding carbon fiber to plastics. It adds some really unique properties in terms of rigidity and strength. And every time we see a new plastic like this come out on the market, we see more customers, especially folks from the CNC and metalworking world, embracing 3D printing and seeing this as an opportunity for them to start using the technology. Are, are the machines able to, able to uh, print the, 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 the materials that, that could be available? I mean, are they, the machines sophisticated enough to print everything that uh, material manufacturers can come out with? Yeah, the, the best way we can explain it is that we design our printers both from a hardware perspective and software to be able to print pretty much any 3D printable plastic that melts under 300 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, there are a couple exceptions, right? There's some that can melt, but like polypropylene, for instance, doesn't want to stick to anything. It's a unique property of its plastic, and it's very difficult to 3D print because it wants to ship. But if it is printable, our printers can essentially handle it. For instance, uh, one of the, the big material manufacturers out of Germany has just come up with a stainless steel filament. I don't have any parts to show you because they're right now being post-processed. But this filament, obviously highly abrasive, 90% metal, runs in our printer, okay. right? Yeah. With no additional cost, no additional modification. We provide the customers the settings for running it. Uh, it's expensive, but after printed, uh, they have lined up service companies to actually post-process it and basically cook it off uh, okay. Uh, okay. for a, an incredibly low price, which then I mean, it's basically going to bring metal 3D printing to the masses that otherwise would have cost $100,000, $500,000 in initial capital. Hey, talking about 3D printing for the masses, we're here at the Fabtech show, and most of the people here, uh, both exhibitors and attendees, are conventional manufacturing. What, if you can say one thing to those people that don't know anything about 3D printing, what would you tell them? It's not for everybody. But the point is, is 3D printing allows companies to make plastic parts that in the absence of 3D printing, they may not be able to do because the cost of injection molding is so high and the cost of using a CNC mill to, to mill a block of plastic is incredibly labor intensive. So the cool thing about 3D printing, and it's again, it's not for everybody. We at Fusion 3, for instance, will never say unequivocally that this is the right printer for somebody because we don't know their use case their print quality might need to be at such a fine level, they have to look at much more expensive uh, processes. They might have strength and temperature requirements that conventional plastics can't handle. But the flip side is we love engaging with them, especially folks from the machining world who already understand CNC, they already understand materials. And if they're looking to get into plastic, especially because it can be very affordable, um, it's really fun to, to print demo parts for them, for them to see the, the printers in action and see if it's a good fit for them. All right, thanks, Chip. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Right.